Hello and welcome back to Across the Gulf Coast. Well, as promised before the break, we are now joined by the Children in Crisis Center and Ken Harris, the President and CEO of Children in Crisis. Ken, thank you so much for coming back on the show. It's a pleasure morning, to have Cam. you again. So glad to be here. Thanks for the opportunity. Absolutely. You guys have, have a great organization and it's thank always uh, good to you know, kind of catch up and see where you guys are and, and uh, any events that y'all have coming up. But uh, for maybe people who haven't caught you know, one of your previous episodes on here, tell us a little bit about Children in Crisis and what you guys do for the community. Well, well, first of all, this is a busy time of the year. We're, <laughs> we're getting all excited. The children are getting excited. Uh, as we go into Thanksgiving and Christmas, yeah. it's, uh, it's just a great time for the kids. But uh, we're very, very happy to be able to provide a home to the children that may not have a safe place to go. Uh, foster children, abused and neglected children, they're taken out of unsafe environment in the middle of the night, short notice, whatever the situation is, we have an emergency shelter that's there for them. It'll take up to 16 children. Mm -hmm. And then we have a neighborhood that has five foster homes with a married couple that live in each home, take care of up to 12 children, and, um, and a teen transition home uh, for those that age out at 18 but haven't finished high school. Mm -hmm. And we keep them uh, in a little apartment there as long as they need uh, uh, until they get through high school and uh, kind of get their feet on the ground and, and grounded and uh, ready to go. Uh, so any given day, we'll have about uh, 50 children living at Children in Crisis at our neighborhood. If you took a snapshot of a year, it'd be about 100 children that kind of that come, go, or wow. stay. And since uh, opening up our first home, which is emergency shelter and the first foster home, Blessings House, in 2008, we've given a home to over 750 children. Wow, that's that's, that's almost 100,000 days and nights of a home for a child. Wow. Very, very excited, very happy to do that, and uh, it's all because of this wonderful community support from people like Cox and uh, just donors out there that care about kids. Absolutely. I mean, you guys, like I said, y'all do a great job, so we're happy to be involved, as I'm sure those donors are. Are all of these kids from Okaloosa County, or how far do you guys stretch and, and serve? That's a great question. Uh, we have the majority of our children, uh, the largest percentage of our children from Okaloosa County, mm -hmm. but we take children also from Escambia, Santa Rosa, and Walton. Okay. And so it's actually the, it's called Circuit One in mm -hmm. Foster Department right. of Children and Families. So it's actually the Panhandle. Wow. Uh, so some of those donors that you mentioned, the donors, yeah. if somebody wants to get involved, whether uh, you know it's through a donor, sponsorship, or maybe through foster care or anything like that, how can they go about doing that? Well, they can call us for sure. Uh, our number is 864-4242. Mm. Uh, and we have our website, childreninCrisisFL.org. But just give us a call, we'll give them, uh, like if they wanted to be a foster home or mm -hmm. um, uh, foster parent, excuse me, have a foster home, and um, or, or volunteer with us or give helping hands to us, just call us on that 864-4242, and then we'll either uh, tell them what we need there and let get them involved in tutoring or whatever, mm -hmm. or we'll refer them to the Department of Children and Families or Families First Network. Families First Network is responsible for placements, and uh, recruiting of foster homes and adoptions. Okay. And I'm very, very proud to say that uh, we've had uh, 35 children uh, adopted to forever homes in the last four years. That's great, yes. that's awesome. Uh, so you said it's a you know, very busy time of year. I know yeah. the kids are getting excited with excited. You know, Thanksgiving and Christmas, but you guys have a lot of events coming up this time of year uh, and, and into the first part of next year. Mm -hmm. uh, let's right. talk about the first one at the end of November. Uh, uh, Giving Tuesday. Giving Tuesday. Tell me a yeah. little bit about what That's that was. That's the Tuesday after Thanksgiving. I think it's the 18th this year. Uh, and 28th. That, 28th, excuse me. <laughs> and uh, that is a time where um, we ask the community to focus on giving to charity mm -hmm. um, through either a website or just sending a donation check in to their favorite charity. And it's a very successful day. It started about three years ago, and it continues to grow every year. Uh, this is also a time that you think about uh, giving uh, toward the end of the year, whether it right. be this tax year or next tax year. Uh, and uh, just uh, a shout-out to all our wonderful donors for thanking, thanking them for that, mm -hmm. for helping us, and not to forget us and other charities that of their choice. Sure. Hopefully it's children in crisis, but uh, most people have more than one charity that they like. Right. Right, and like you said, it's that time of year where people are making those end-of-the-year uh, donations. Yes. So definitely one of the great organizations to give to. Um, leading up to Christmas, you have the, uh, the Festival of the Trees too, right? Festival of the Trees, that's over at uh, Grand Boulevard. Mm -hmm. I think it's almost for 30 days, right after Thanksgiving all the way through Christmas. 
uh, actually before Thanksgiving. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, that's, uh, I think it's 12 charities that are chosen to put up a Christmas tree and decorations and all that and just remind people that it's that time of the year yeah. and a uh, wonderful time of the year. Oh. And speaking of that time of year, uh, on Christmas, a lot of people ask, what are the children going to do over Christmas? And we actually uh, call it the 10 days of, or 12 days of Christmas. And we'll do something every day with either an organization, a, a faith organization, a church, uh, and uh, have a special event for the children every day for 12 days. That's awesome. Uh, we got about 30 seconds left. I do want to mention going into the new year, uh, you have a concert in February. Yes, David up. Syrian concert. Uh, it's the 19th of February this year. He's done this. This will be his sixth year, and mm -hmm. uh, he's helped us raise over raise over hundred thousand dollars. And it's a absolutely wonderful, enjoyable event. And I hope people will uh, buy a ticket and come. And take us to the website or call on your office. Yes, uh, childreninCrisisfl.org okay. or eight six four four two four two. Perfect, Ken. Thank you so much for coming on the show again. I appreciate thank it. Thank you for your opportunity and all you do for us absolutely. and the community. Absolutely, happy to do it. Stay with us when we come back. We'll be in our Pensacola studio and joined by UWF Historic Trust. <music> 